Wow, great. And I like how you were mentioning the fitness routines that people prefer and go through the app. So I personally am part of what we call ourselves fitness mafia. It takes him. So it's just, I don't know. I mean, now we know, I think we have three, four guys that just uh -huh. post their miles at the end of the week. Um, right. So I was curious as to like, uh, since we had talked about partners earlier on, does the application allow for the personalization of workout to suit beginners? all the way to the most seasoned who feel like they aren't being challenged by the current offering? Yes, it does in the sense that you can literally create a workout in any way that you want to do it, right? So as a beginner, your main problems would be that you don't know what you're doing, you know, not that you're dumb or anything, but you don't know what you're doing mm. in the space specifically. So this app, then has access to trainers who can give you that sort of guidance or if you read up on 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 google whatever you know simple workout for beginners this is how you do it yada yada and then you go into that app where you have that list of workouts you can literally create your own so from whatever you would have jotted down or read up on or had a small conversation with the trainer on instead of scrolling through that list of workouts you can just click that little plus sign at the top and create your own, call it whatever you want, add however many exercises for however many reps you like and edit it as you go along. So it literally covers everyone from beginners all the way up to, you know, experts or advanced people or whatever, because, for example, with the advanced people, they wouldn't need the help of a trainer. They will literally design their own workout and say, if today I or the next three months, I want to focus on losing belly fat. They know exactly what they're supposed to do. And then they have a whole database of exercises to work with. And then they can just build a workout from that, build a program from, from that, and then just follow it, track it. And that's it. So it literally covers everyone. Oh, great. Yeah. Losing belly fat. So like uh, belly just made me hungry there. And uh, <laughs> when, when we move over to like the, the, the food section or the meal section of the app, um, what yeah. sort of process went, to, went into that section? Uh, was there a mixture of your own personal experience as well as help from nutritionists or it, it was just one or the other? It was a mixture of personal experiences with myself and then to actually then put the service together, I put together what I thought and then threw it out into a field of people um, to say, what do you think? of? Because throughout the entire development of this application, I bothered a whole lot of people to validate my ideas. Um, I had a good set of testers that I would, you know, switch around for different needs and everything. But just to stick to your question, um, how it goes is if you request this service, it tells you that you are going to get contacted within 48 hours and then within 72 hours, the appointment, the first appointment should have been set, right? And then you are then taken through a 10 day process from that assessment you know, to ask you, Edwin, what do you want to actually achieve? What are you working on? What are your goals and everything? And then this nutritionist will start asking you, so what is your day like? What do you do? When do you wake up? What do you do in a day? What do you eat? Blah, 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 blah. And then take you through, um, after that assessment, a 10-day sort of program to help you fix whatever it is they may see that is wrong with you. So um, not particularly wrong with you, but that would help you reach where you're trying to go. So mm. the process of putting that together was a mixture of me thinking, if I want to see a nutritionist or a health coach, how soon would I want them to start talking to me? And how would I like them to start talking to me? And what would be the easiest way for them to monitor me, you know, without me feeling like they're invading on my privacy too much, whatever. And then, you know, I designed a little bit of something talk to these nutritionists and ask them, can you be able to actually deliver these kinds of services for this duration in this, um, you know, space of time in terms of how soon you can contact a client who was sent through a request. We have a few conversations about that. They, you know, 
change a few things because this is their area of expertise. Remember, they'll say, ah, okay, you know, it doesn't make sense to say, um, we will tell you what to do in two days. They'll say, you know, this is a lifestyle change. So the most we can do, the least rather, is to say, maybe let's start them off on a 10 to 15 day sort of thing where we can kickstart them into changing their lifestyle. Because a lot of the times your diet and stuff is not necessarily what you feel like eating. It's what you've pre-programmed yourself to eat over a very long time. So it's a lifestyle sort of thing. So as those conversations went around, we craft something, we throw it back to that same set of users. What do you think about this? They tell us, ah, you know, I don't like this and that and blah, 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 blah. Refine it until we have something that we can all agree on and that's it. So it's a mixed bag. It's not um, me being a genius or whatever. Okay, so I'm actually excited about the part that, um, or at least what I picked from what you're saying is, there are actually uh, nutritionists and trainers in the background that help with the sort of um, uh, exercise and meal plan for whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. ah, great. So, so let's say I am a beginner who is mm -hmm. probably trying to make um, the most the most of the time during a lockdown, and they are just to get in shape both. Uh, both on stamina and gaining a bit of muscle or bulk without any definition. What would you recommend they do on Zimbo Fit in regards to the meal plans and exercise regime? Um, I suppose you would need a lot of stamina in lockdown, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, <laughs> I would recommend, I would recommend that uh, you, because if, if you, if you get the chance to use the app, when you, are, are registering your profile. It'll ask you, you know, what are your goals? And then you have some that are uh, mass gaining, weight loss, um, some that are flexibility, because you have things like yoga in there, some that are just um, general fitness or strength, functional strength, whatever. Um, we do have a category for that, which is just general fitness. And then what this will do is inform um, the nutritionist that you will be assigned when you request for the assistance to say, okay, this is Edwin, he just wants general fitness. So the conversation that we are going to have will be guided by the fact that over everything, Edwin's fitness goals is general fitness. So after that, the workouts that you want to look at, because again, they are classified, the workouts and programs, um, you can use the simple filter that is right at the top when you're scrolling through and everything, scrolling through the workouts and everything. There's a little filter button there where you can just filter through the types of workouts that you want. You can then uncheck, you know, your weightlifting programs or your Zumba programs or, or your yoga programs, or whatever, and just stick to the ones that will be more cardio oriented, which you will find in that filter. So you can then, after you filtered out things that you don't want you start looking through those programs and workouts to see what it is that you can and can't do and decide that decide that for yourself and then once you say you've picked out a program or a workout each program and workout comes with an author which is a trainer who does exist in that system and then you can see their profile so you can then contact them and over you know instagram or um, whatever links they have put on the, even their phone numbers and everything. Say, hey, look, I saw your workout on ZimboFit and this is what I'm trying to do. What would you advise? And they would advise you on what to do and how to do it safely. And this is all for free because their profile is appearing there um, marked under their work so that they can help you to do whatever it is that you want. You see what I mean? And then from there, once you start the workout, if you feel like you want some advice on your meal planning and everything, again, each time you open that workout, there's a little button that tells you, that says, you know, request meal planning services. When you click on that, it tells you, okay, um, after you do the purchase and whatnot, it tells you this person is going to contact you like this, this, that, 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 that. The nutritionist is going to hit you up. And then you guys do the whole, you know, assessment to 10 day little program and everything. And then from there, you sort of kickstarted the lifestyle that you're trying to go through. So just to wrap that up, you have decided what your ultimate goal is, 
and you've told Zimbofit that, and then you have gotten to chat to the trainer whenever you feel like you want to chat to them to make sure that you're exercising correctly, you're doing everything correctly. And if you need extra guidance from them, they're available for that. And then um, you can track everything that you're doing on top of that, you know, look through your history and whatnot to say, okay, when I did it last week, I managed to do 20. When I did it today, it was 30. You have a nice little graph to tell you if you're very crappy at it or if you're doing well. And then lastly, you have your meal planning, health, lifestyle kind of aspect to it. And then you've covered those three pillars that I mentioned at the very beginning in a very simple way. So you've gotten that whole product in one place for what you're trying to achieve. Oh, great. So, so when we started off, you were saying that um, when you started Zimbo Fit, it was supposed to be like an all-in-one app uh, that encompasses the training side of it, the fitness side of it, as well as the, the nutrition side of it. Um, so I was thinking, do you have um, an option whereby someone can, especially on the nutrition side of things, someone can have uh, stores or places where they can get um, some of the specialist diets that they would need? Um, not at the moment, as you might know, because I'm talking to techies here. Um, this is an MVP. This is literally a minimum viable prog pro um, product. So there are a lot of future features that are on my back burner that are just itching to come out, you know what I mean? And that happens to be mm. one of them. Um, but this is literally an MVP just to um, validate this idea to see if it will work. And if it does work, what sort of direction does it take? Because of the way that I built it, it is meant to service very specific needs, needs which might start to get fine tuned as I mentioned earlier on. So. I do have future features that I think would help, but because it's an MVP, we'll also then look at the evolution and the needs of these customers thereof as we go along. We then might find on, on my back burner, some things might need to be pushed up. For example, you have a lot of apps that have the ability to, when you, you know, you've finished your run and you've taken a picture and you're holding your little cool bottle and your towel and you're nice and sweaty, you can post that immediately to your Facebook and then your friends will be like, oh, high fives, you know, well done and everything. Then you go to bed feeling well, feeling great. So there, that is a very common feature across fitness apps, but it's not one that I decided to include on my MVP because I wanted the very, very basics of what um, people who are trying to live this lifestyle are trying to go for. So we might find that um, people are using this app and then maybe taking screenshots to share with their friends on WhatsApp or whatever. And then we think, oh, okay, instead of pushing up that store that Edwin mentioned the other day, we might need to push up this function of sharing to social media, for example. So to answer your question, that feature definitely is in the works, but it's just sitting on my back burner and what we have um, online right now is an MVP.